Good day, Mom. I'm Abby, your student nurse for today. May I know your name, Mom? Maurice Simeles. Okay, Miss Maurice, today I'm going to do an assessment of your head down to your tooth. So, may I start, Mom? Yes. Okay, so first I'm going to close the door for our privacy. Now, I'm washing my hands to, to avoid any spreading of contamination. So, are you comfortable in your position, Mom? Yes. Okay, so let's move on to, and proceed to our assessment. So I'm going to start up and by asking you a few questions. So may I know your full name, Mom? My name is Diaz Meres. How about your birth of date? March 2011. So do you know where you are now? At the hospital. Okay, so do you have any idea what are you are what are we going to do today? We're going to head to total assessment. Okay, so how about the uh, the president of the Philippines? President Rodrigo Duterte. Okay, so I observe that you are alert and oriented. Now, I'm going to collect your vital signs, your blood pressure, your temperature, your oxygen saturation, your pain scale, pain ratio, and I will also collect your height and weight and solve for your BMI. So I'm going to start now. Blood pressure is normal. Next, let's check for your temperature. And I can see your oxygen level is up to normal. and that is the normal temperature. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you have any pain feeling right now? Zero for nanotal and 10 for reverse pain? Zero. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to proceed to check your weight and height. Can you stand up for a second, Mom? Go on and check your height. Can you go on that burner? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'll document everything. Now I'm going to check for your head and see if I can see any abnormalities like drooping or twitching that may indicate nose palsy or stroke. I can see anything abnormal and I can also see that your size of head is appropriate for size of person. And uh, I can see that your head and that your ears and eyes are on the same level. Mm -hmm. That's good. I didn't see any discoloration. And now, uh -huh. okay, that's good. Now I'm going to palpitate your he head to see if I can feel any lumps, manifestation. 
and your bare molecules. Mm -hmm. And I can see none. Now I'm going to check for the cranial nerve number seven. Can you open your mouth for me, ma? Mm -hmm. No, close it. I can see uh, see if I can feel any clicking and I can see none. Now let's check for your cranial nerve number seven or the facial nerve. Can you close your eyes tightly for me, ma? Okay, now open it. How about, can you smile for me, ma? How about frown? Pop up your cheeks. Okay, that's good. I can see that you did it with it. So, that means your cranial is intact. Now, I'm going to palpitate your cyanosis. So, so, tell me if you feel anything. So, I'm going to start off by palpitating it here in maxillary. So, I'm going to palpitate it now. So, do you feel any pain, mom? No. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to proceed here in the temporal. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay, so everything is normal. So I'm going to proceed to your eyes. What I'm looking for, if I can see any abnormalities, I'm going to check your sclera, your pupil, and your iris. The sclera is the white of your eyes, and I can, don't see any discoloration like jaundice for yellow. Um, I'm going to check your sclera, which is the white of your eyes, the pupil, and your iris. So, by looking at your eyes, I don't see anything abnormal, like discoloration that they indicate yellow for jaundice, blue for cyanosis, and red for erythema. I don't, I don't also see anything abnormal in your conjunctiva. I don't see any swelling. And I see that you don't have any other, uh, I don't see any abnormalities like strabismus or cross-eyed or anisocaria, which one of your pupil is smaller than the other. So um, let's go and proceed to test your cranial nerve. So we're going to undergo some tests to test its function and see if there's any abnormalities like involuntary shaking or movements of your eyes. So first, um, uh, the, the cranial nerve is the cranial nerve number three, which is the oculomotor, cranial nerve number five, which is the trapillar, and cranial nerve number six, which is the opposite. So I'm going to use the gun light to test its function. So mom, I'm going to place this Bed light in 12 to 14 hmm, centimeters away from your nose, and I want you to look for it while not moving your head. I'm going to move it in a six cardinal ways, and I want you to follow it as I move it without moving your head. Are good. I don't see any involuntary movements. Now let's proceed check, checking how if your uh, if your pupils will constrict. So, mom, can you look at the wall behind my back? So I'm going to shine the light in your eyes to see if your pupils will constrict. So can you look at the wall behind my back? Okay, so it's constrict. Now I'm going to do the same in the other eye. So it also constrict. So now I'm going to check if your pupils will dilate. Can you look at the wall behind my back again, mom? Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to move this pen light uh, near your in, near your nose to see if your pupils will dilate. Will dilate. Can you look at the 
was there in the past month, okay? Well, so I'm going to pop it. I pop it your nose if I can feel any abnormal like lesions. Mm -hmm. Any lumps? Do you feel any pain in here, mom? No. Okay, so I can also see that your nose is a bit light. So let's check your airflow in the nose. Can you cover one of your nose, mom, and breathe? Mm -hmm. How about the other one? Okay, so I can see that you can breathe properly. So I'm going to check in the inside of your nose to see if there's any abnormalities like cool it. Mm -hmm. So I don't see any abnormalities and that's good. Now let's check the your cranial nerve number 11 or your olfactory nerve. So can you close your eyes, mom? So I'm going to put something near your nose and I want you to identify what is it. So close your eyes. So can you tell me what is this mom? Perfume. Okay, so you identify it correct, correctly, you can now open your eyes. So you identify it with is and that means that your olfactory nerve is intact. Now let's proceed assessing your mouth. So I observe that your lips is pink and dry. I don't see any lesions or any discoloration like bluishness that may indicate cyanosis. So can you open your mouth for me, mom? Okay, so I'm going to check the inside of your mouth. Say, ah, can you open your mouth for me, mom? Okay. So now I'm going to, ch uh -huh, okay, so now let's check your cranial nerve number 10 or your glossal pharyngeal. So can you stick out your tongue for me, mom, and move it side by side? Uh -huh. So I can see that you done it with ease, so that means your cranial nerve number 12 is intact. Now I'm going to check the inside of your mouth. I don't see any lesions. Your cheeks is pink. I don't see any abnormalities like dental caries, um, tonsil exudates, or thrush. And I can also see that your uvula is in the midline. So, can you stick up your tongue, mom? can also see that your tongue is pink and moist. So, can you lift up your tongue for me, mom? Mm -hmm. I don't see any lesions. Now I'm going to check for your um, cranial nerve number 9 or the glossopharyngeal. Can you open your mouth for me, mom? Ah, ah. So I'm going to puke inside. Ah! <laughs> okay, there you go. So next is I'm going to check your cranial nerve number 10 or the vagus nerve. And I observed that your vagus nerve is intact since you can uh, talk properly without hoarseness and you can swallow properly. Now we're going to proce proceed to your ears. So I'm going to palpitate your, your ears to see, to see if there's any abnormalities like tenderness, slow jokes, infestations, lumps. So do you feel any pain, mom? No. Okay, so that's good. Now let's check inside of your ears. I'm going to use this otoscope to see inside. Mm -hmm. I can see that the tympanic membrane is grayish and pearly translucent that is our mouth but the other one mm -hmm. okay so everything's inside is normal now i'm going to check your cranial cranial nerve number eight which is the vestibular cochlear i'm going to cover one of your ears and whisper to your opposite ears and I want you to repeat everything that I say. Is it okay with you, mom? Okay, so I want you to repeat what I whisper. Apple pie. Okay, the other one. Boko pie. Okay, so
So I observed that you give it with yeast. So that means that the cranial nerve is intact. Now, next, we're going to check your neck. So I'm going to extend your neck to see your trachea. So I see that your trachea is in the midline. I don't see any lesion, lumps, or any type of problems like greater or something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to um, now we're going to test for your cranial nerve number twelve or or accessory nerve. So can you move your neck left and right, mom? Okay. How about up and down? So can you shrug your shoulders with my disease? Okay. I see that your you does it with ease. So that means your cranial nerve is intact. Now I'm going to palpate your trachea to see that it is in the midline. So, so, uh, yes, yeah, so it's in the midline. Next, we're going to palpate the lymph nodes. To so normally the lymph, we can feel the lymph nodes. So if we feel the lymph nodes, that would be a concern. So we're going to start here in a auricular which is in front of the ear next is the post auricular in the back of the ear the occipital the jugular the gastric submandibular submental So next we're going to do is to palpate your lymph nodes. So starting here in the preauricular or in the front of your ear. Mm -hmm. Next is in the postauricular or in the back of your ear. The occipital, the jugulodigastric, the submandibular. Submantel, your superficial cervical, your deep cervical chain. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel any pain so far, mom? No. Okay, that's good. And lastly, is your super supraclavicular. So, as uh, as we expected, we don't feel any left node, so that means we have no problem in your cranial nerve. Check your arms to see anything abnormal, like herbidens or bullshit nose nodes. And I don't see any of it here, so that's good. Now I'm going to move your arms up and down. Um, so it moves gently, so I don't see any problem with that. Now can you stand up, mom, for a second? Now, can you move your arms forward and close your eyes? Mm -hmm. I'm going to observe you for more like 20 seconds to see if your your arms are going to drift like that because drifting can sometimes be caused of stroke. So, that's good. Okay, now, okay, you're going to relax your arms i didn't uh so i observe it don't drift so i didn't see anything of concern so sit down first mom mm -hmm. since you're wearing wearing clothes so you don't have to undress now i'm going to check for your heart sound i'm going to ask you to take it from uh, from ayurti Pulmonic, um, Earth Point, Tricuspid, Metro Valve, and for Apical Pulse. So, first I'm going to auscultate it using the front of the stethoscope, then next for its bell. So, here first, Nayarti.
I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to use the bell of the stethoscope. So first here in the IORT. Money. Okay, so I didn't hear anything abnormal. Now, like wheezes or crackles. Now, let's proceed for checking for your lungs. So, from I'm going to check it from upper clavicular downward. Okay. Can you breathe deeply, mom? Deeper, please. Good, so I don't hear any of abnormal and anything of concern. Now let's go and move on, proceed to checking your extremities, the upper and lower extremities. So first, let's do the upper extremities. So while spotting your skin and arm, I don't see any abnormalities and discoloration that may indicate some problem like cyanosis that would be blue, jaundice that would be yellow, and red for erythema. So I don't see anything, and that is good. Now let's go and proceed checking your racial pulse. Mm -hmm. I can see that, I can feel that two pulse and they beat bilaterally. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to check for your um, male refill. I'm going to pop it, pop it here in your nail, nail bed and see that I can see that uh, the nail bed goes back within two seconds. Now I'm going to pinch your right here to, to check your skin turgor mobility. Mm -hmm. I see that your skin is uh, flexible, it moves back easily, so that means it is normal. Uh, lay down in the proper mom. Okay, so do you have any problem with your abdomen, mom? No. Okay, that's good. So I don't see any lesions and lungs, wounds, or anything like that. I don't see any discoloration that may sometimes indicate cyanosis that would be blue, jaundice that would be yellow, and red for erythema. So I also see that your umbilicus is in the midline and that's good. So next we're going to auscultate and hear your vowel sound. Starting here in your right lower quadrant and do it in clockwise. So we're going to listen for about 25 minutes and see if it's hypo or hyperactive or normal. So we're going to start now in the right lower quadrant.
so everything sounds good. Now let's move on and check for your vascular vascular sound using the bell of the stethoscope. So can you lay it down properly again, mom? Okay, so I'm going to auscultate again. So everything sounds good. Now let's move on. I'm going now. I'm going to light and deep palpitate your abdomen to see if I can see anything abnormal like masses, rigidity, um, tenderness. So I'm going to do the light palpitation now. So tell me if you feel any pain, okay, mom? Do you feel any pain? No. So just tell me if you feel okay. So do you feel any pain so far? No. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to proceed and do the, the palpation. So tell me if it hurts, okay? Okay, so I think I don't feel anything abnormal or anything of concern. So everything overall here in I don't see anything problem here in the upper extremities. Okay, so can you lay down properly, ma'am? Okay, so let's proceed to your lower extremities. So checking your lower extremities, I can see that your uh, feet is warm and dry. I don't see any discoloration i don't see any here in your joints i don't see any redness or swelling and i don't see anything abnormal here in your feet like um gout so there's cracking or ulcer feet now i'm going to uh check for your uh to refill Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish right here to see how how long it will take or how fast it will move back. Mm -hmm. And it moves back easily and that's good. Now I'm going to check for your reflex. So this may be ticklish. Mm -hmm. And I can see that you bend your toes and that's normal. Now, can you raise your uh, feet with my resistance? Mm -hmm, that's good. So, everything is normal. So, can you stand up for a second, mom? So that I can check your back. Stand up, stand up. Okay, so, mm -hmm. I'm going to raise your clothes. So what I'm looking for, if I can see anything abnormal like moles that is uh, as big as the eraser of the pencil that may indicate melanoma or any skin cancer. So I don't see any abnormal. I don't see. I also don't see any discolorations. So that's good. I don't see anything of concern. So. Okay, let me help you for that. So let me now sit down. So do you so that wraps up our assessment from your head down to your tooth. Do you have any question, Mom? No, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to document everything that we do and that wraps up everything and thank you for your cooperation.